Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Thorny right now, and I don't know why that thing is doing a bendy bus over there. 22, 2, 2, 1, 1, 31, 36 doing the bendy stuff. And Fright Train. Nice. That's actually that's the second Fright Train going through today. I saw another set Fright Train today. Alright, so next station is Cannington. Uh, this is a vlog from uh, Biscuit. Biscuit by the sea, I think. Thank you so much for this request. Thorny to High Wickham. Which is, uh, according to his idea, is spur to spur. Which is uh, both of the spur lines of the main lines. So Thorny is the spur of Armadale line. And we have the airport line. Technically, it's just a spur of the Midland line tracks. So that's why. But the, the biggest problem is... Not the biggest problem, but because of spur to spur, I want to show off the main line as well. So that's why we're going to change to the main line at as soon as it finishes the spur. So that's why we're going to change to Cannington for an Armadale line service. And then we're going to actually change at MacIver. I don't want to change at freaking... <laughs> I don't want to change at freaking Claysbrook. So that's why I'm going to change at MacIver because why the hell not? And we'll take to Meltham with a Midland Line train and then we'll change to an Airport Line train. This train runs from Thornley to Perth, stopping at Cannington and in all stations to Perth. Next station, Cannington. Change at Cannington for all stations, Beckingham to Armadale. It's been a while since my last train vlog, so that's why. It's time to do another one. Here goes Beckingham Station. And very soon, next year, next year, I think. Yeah, next year. I won't be able, there won't be any Armadale Line videos, so that's why. Probably for two years, no Armadale Line videos. And at Cannington, they're already ready. They're already building a new transfer bus station closer to Carousel Shopping Center instead of actually close to the train station because during the shutdown, they're gonna use that big old transfer station instead of the train station transfer because there'll be way too many routes. That's why they need some bigger spots to actually do the transfer. When trains are not available, what's the point of coming to the train station? 203 down there, 2725. And here's Cannington, we're gonna get off and change to a C pattern. Oh, we got another gross bus down there. <laughs> 2468. I just found out that Swan has so many garbage, unfurbished, unrefurbished B7 buses. So bad. Just took one today in the morning, it's really terrible. With so much dirt on the floor. I made it to uh, Cannington here to send the train out. We changed to an Armadale Line train. Here comes the train over there coming in as well. There goes set 20 and 32. And we got a two car coming over, I think. Is that two car? No idea, but just send that guy out. And I'm just gonna film that guy coming in as well. And then we're cut about. 
<laughs> wow. Okay, that is a four car. It's too thorny. No. I'm just gonna film it in first. They don't, the whole line is gonna get transformed, so I don't know how it's gonna, what's gonna happen with Cannington Station. Set 31 and 34. And I wait for the C pattern, which is 12 minutes. We got our train coming in here, set 37. There's actually a transfer staff behind me, so I'm just gonna cut right away right here. Just look at the train real fast and cut. Well, unfortunately, a little bit of the section is cut out because Because uh, of the, uh, there are actually two staffs at the back, <laughs> at the back, back car. So I actually bought it at the back, and then I need to actually change to the front car. And some of the time has been wasted. Now it's already traveling onto Queens Park already. Skip next station, Oat Street, the non-stop to Claysbrook. Change at Oat Street for Carlisle. Victoria Park and Burswood. I'm probably gonna cut again at Oat Street because again this is a two-car train, it's terrible. So like very little amount of space and then basically all of the passengers are just grouped together, which is very annoying. definitely do some videos on Welsh pool station you see there it is Victoria Park level canning level removal and they were gonna remove Welsh pool station during the shutdown which here it is Welsh pool station So definitely do some videos in the future with Welsh pool station before it disappears now train I'm just doing this way because too many people on a train. There's a bus out there. What route is that? That actually passed. Oh, I know what that is. It's a future bus, but that's the 282 or 283. Major Old Street here. Done with Oat Street, the next station is Claysbrook. We're changing MacIver though, not changing Claysbrook. Next station, Claysbrook. Huh. So, skip four stations and we'll go to Claysbrook. And I, I don't know whether they will remove the uh, the C pattern after the shutdown. There are news actually, that there are rumors actually saying that they might remove the uh, the A pattern. I mean the C pattern after the shutdown, which I really hope they don't because it's really useful. Hello.
Victoria Park Station. And then we also have that Victoria Park Transfer Station for the buses. But the thing is, that Victoria Park Transfer Station is not even close to Victoria Park. You should call it like Burstwood Transfer Station or something. Or the uh, the Causeway Interchange. That should also like works a little bit better from just calling it Victoria Park Transfer Station. It's literally it should be called like Causeway Transfer Station because it's literally after the Causeway, you know? Like before or after the Causeway. So you should call it Causeway Interchange instead. First we're here. Fortunate for these uh, T pattern stations is 15 minutes per train. Unfortunate. Which for the other stations like Oak Street and Cannington, they can do the T pattern and C pattern at the same time. And we've got Perth Stadium coming up here. Which are the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the pillar, the pillar for the, uh, the zones, zone, the, uh, what zones they are on the train station. There are some random pillars that actually have the zone thing saying that, oh, this station is actually two zones or one zone from your current station. Lakelands has been updated. It has been on. It is on already for the polls. They display the information on the station. It is there for the Lakeland station. It already marked it as two zones for Lakelands. Technically, it's like, I don't know how many zones, but because of max fare, two zones, so that's why they just put in two zones. So, and they already have Lakelands on it. But the stupid thing is, they still haven't removed Belmont Park. Belmont Park is over there, and which is actually the previous station on the, uh, on the Armadale line, which has been removed since 2013. And then they have built Perth Stadium Station over here. To technically replace that, but it's actually a completely different thing. Completely a different thing. So, but before Armadale Line goes to Belmont Park. So, but the thing is, they still haven't removed Belmont Park on the stupid pillars. So stupid. It's not even a station already. It's gone. Belmont Park, Airport Central, and Lakelands together on the same thing. Which should not be happening, no. Crossing bridge here. I don't know the name of this bridge actually, no. So, help me out in the comments or in the chat. Is it Windsor Bridge? Here's Claysbrook Depot. made it to Claysbrook. Later on we're gonna come back to Claysbrook because I don't want to change here so that's fine. Because the re main reason is just because I don't want to walk that freaking ramp over here. Now if I can get a perfect transition then I might do it but oh there's actually a train to Midland. Two minutes. Two minutes for a Midland train. Yes yeah, skirt we'll do it. <laughs> no point in wasting time we're just gonna run over. Hopefully I can make it. It's Claysbrook, unfortunately we won't be able to stop and uh, wait for the train to depart. We're just going to run right over. Oh, I didn't press the button. Alright, let's run right over. Oh, we won't be making it, definitely. No, right, there's no point. Go back in. <laughs> won't make it, so screw that. Just wait for one more. Just take one more station. That won't make it. Missed the spot, so there's that Midland train. I missed it, so we just change at freaking. We're just gonna change at uh, MacIver. No point. If 
Protocol original plan. Train driver change and door closing. So the next train coming in at McIver will be a uh, airport line train, but we're not going to take that. So I know it's stupid, but I want to take a bit of one. Next station, McIver. I'm a Kaiba. This time, hope, this time, don't forget about clicking the button. I walk on the ground. Because one time before, I walked with the on the tracks on the ground level, and I literally killed myself because the freaking gate just doesn't open. With trains, it's still like mile away from the station, and it just doesn't open the gate. Alright, here we are at uh, McIver here. 237, I mean set 37, let's send the train out. There's the horn. Oh, oh hey. Alright, there that go. Now we will go over to the Midland Line platform. The next train is High Wycombe, but we're not going to take that. So, <laughs> Just want to take a Midland Line train, then change to another Airport Line train. So go over and I'll see you guys over there. My phone literally just screwed the hell out of me there when I want to get this train on the camera. That set 118 literally came out fresh from the depot, ready for Claremont services. And there is a, uh, they, there is actually, according to the info over there, there's actually a Midland Line three car terminating at Perth. That's actually an airport line service that actually came from High Wycombe, but terminate at Perth and will be withdrawn from the service, which will be replaced by that train over there for the Claremont services, which is kind of funny. I don't know why. Basically, oh, there goes a B. So basically in the middle of the day around this area, around this time, around 11 to 12 in the afternoon services, in the, in the around midday, trains from airport will actually have some of them terminate at Perth and then bring new train out from depot and fresh continues to Claremont which is actually what that train is doing over there it's waiting for the platform to clear out there's still a, a Fremantle line train stopped in there that train will go into platform 7 as soon as, it, as soon as that Fremantle line gone and it will stop there and then the next one coming in with the three minute no, with the two minute uh, three car Perth bound Midland line slash airport line instead of the airport line train it will go into platform six and terminate and now we wait for our Midland line train well a little late on my filming I got attacked by the bee I, I, I didn't got stung but I just he just loves me set 42 and 9 okay it's bored we're bored right here wow all of my spots are completely wrong isn't it Later on, definitely need to show this door because actually we need definitely need to show this door at Clam at Claysbrook. <laughs> because oh my gosh. Oh there goes the Perth BS, there it is. That one will terminate at Perth from airport. So oh my gosh, I definitely need to show that door over there later on. <laughs> you guys, I don't know whether um, of course Perth viewers are not used to this, but if Hong Kong viewers are watching. You guys are used to violent door closing for M train sometimes in Hong Kong or the A train violent door closing. But here we got our A series here and I just literally heard that door that's violent closing. Just because of this I'm gonna open the door. Hopefully I'm not gonna get like 
to stare at that. Hopefully someone will for real bored. Yes, uh, not really, isn't it? Anyways, the door will open. And I want to show you guys the uh, violent closing over here with this train, with this door. Literally violent. Ho, ho, ho. That is the satisfying door closing I've ever seen. <laughs> That's the most satisfying door closing I've ever seen in Perth. It just immediately boom. <laughs> oh man. Now Claysbrook have all of this uh, station signs already changed to the new signs, but MacIver is still the old signs, which is stupid. Next station, East Perth. Is it a mail announcer? Yeah, it's mail announcer. Alright, we change it, uh, Meltham. As always, no other spots to change. That's the only spot to change, Meltham. So. No, the, uh, not definitely not. Definitely change it to Meltham will be faster because the other one is actually like, uh, like, uh, what is that thing called? Like, if you're at Midland, then of course you just take the bus, which is directly over 277 or 278, directly connects over. So. Now the other side is pretty good, and pretty pretty like smooth and pretty straightforward for the doors, but this side is slow as fuck, so that's why. Oh my gosh, this side is not satisfying. The other side door is so satisfying. This side is not. <laughs> there are literally two dudes actually like kind of staring at my direction, so it's a little scary. There's the siding tracks, which has not been used since that last time when it shut down at East Perth. Well, the East Perth to Perth shutdown. Closure, I mean. If you guys don't like the word called shutdown. I'm also talking about that in uh, the next vlog, which is actually, I'm gonna film it tomorrow, I'm not gonna film it today. I actually technically can film it today, yes, screw. I will, I will figure it out afterwards, but I should film it today. Last time we did the uh, when uh, when the Open Grove to Perth to Elizabeth Key shut down and during the weekends, I didn't do any train videos, but there are some very cool new features that they have finished set up since my last year filming the uh, Mandra Line shutdown, which includes the uh, Open Grove display on the train, uh, announcements saying terminating at Auburn Grove and also that uh, this train runs from blah 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 to where 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 that announcement it also is starting from Auburn Grove that's also very awesome to hear and of course the train running on different uh, on wrong way again and also we have the 949 and 909 which I didn't do again but they're there and this time the 909 for real goes to Elizabeth Key last time when I filmed is only terminated at Canning Bridge because of the weekdays shutdown But technically, they can just simply, really, for real, just terminate the Canning Bridge. Because from Canning Bridge, if you want to keep going down, you, there are other buses for you to go down. Which is smooth connection from there. 114, 115, and 160. There are three routes, although all of them are trash quality with the timetable. Complete trash, but uh, there are three buses, so it's not going to be that terrible. But of course, why, it's just whatever, just drive down to this with key. Next station, Maylands. This is Mylands. Two more stations, we get off of Meltham, we change to an airport line train. The last train that went by is set 119 for airport lines, so it's pretty bad. And I, I don't know why I have a feeling that later on when I kind of go down to the airport line train, we're just gonna get checked again. Uh, later on, I'm gonna go try out the 278 deviation. Because I'm feeling going to McDonald's to eat today, so that's why there's one in High Wycombe Village Shopping Centre, which the 278 deviation will go through, which is complete bullshit, that deviation.
Yeah, that deviation is complete bullcrap because the 277 and the 276 also passes through. Not passes through the exact stop, but it stops nearby. There are two route stops nearby and they need to do that stupid deviation one hour per bus to go to do that deviation and do a U-turn and just go back out. Why not just do the 277, 276 and do a sharp turn before actually entering. Before actually turning to the uh, shopping center, it just goes from there, you know? They can just get the 277, 276 do that and then ex ignore the 278 deviation, you know? No point. Next is Meltham. Next station, Meltham. Change at Meltham for airport line services. That's such a not. That's such a. That's such a. Uh, such a. Just such a badly made announcement. You know, it's just like randomly spit out words. Change at Meltham for airport line services. It's not even smooth. You know. All right, next is Meltham. We we'll change trains to the airport. In Meltham, where are the 44s? No 44s. They've removed the, the bus stand for 44, but... Oh, here it is. Oh. Oh. They've give the... Uh, they've give the... Uh, <laughs> oh. Okay. They gave the uh, car park back to public use, and they have put the 44 at the train replacement bus stop over there. Nice. That's exactly what I should have done at the start, you know? Instead of actually, like, there's the, there's the NH over there. One HJA908, which is actually the bus I filmed, I think. Let's send a train out. They usually, they, they probably put it over there where the car park is. So. Send a train out. There's way too many people on there, which is pretty scary. Next, we'll change to the airport line. Eight more minutes. Now, here's the 44. They usually, for this stand, is only for train replacement. So it still says train replacement because technically 44, it is a train replacement bus route. Is that Dave actually driving over there? <laughs> it looks like it's Dave driving over there, isn't it? But they now finally don't screw around with the numbers. They for real set, up, set it up as 44. <laughs> because there's an old dude actually over there and someone's driving over there. I don't know who that is, but there's the NH. Which of the NH for transfer for real are gone. It's just the 44 using NHs right now. And uh, before they used the car park over there for the 44 bus stand and where the 44 turns in there, but uh, they now give it back for public use and they just put the 44 over here with the train replacement bus stop, which they actually make this train replacement bus stop way better than before. With a shelter and a little bit of a, uh, a, little bit of a parking bay over here for the 44 to stop, which is pretty good. But now, I've already found it out before with uh, if there are for real train replacement with the 901 and 902, the 44 will not run, so that's why. <laughs> Wait for our airport line train. Here's our set, 104, HWIC and BS. There are two staff again next to me right now. Oh my gosh, this train is like high speed running through here. Let's get on board. Alright, departing. We'll go through base motor station first. Next station, Redcliffe. I'd like to Redcliffe for bus services to Perth Airports Terminals 3 and 4. Yeah, we'll go through a base motor station first. Yeah, we'll go through, through it backwards again. which this section has been done in the previous vlog, but this time we're just going the same direction change. So, okay, so again, this is actually off peak hours right now, but the freaking 44, there are two buses running the 44. 
and the thing is, the stupid thing is right there when I was doing Meltem earlier on. Both of them are in Meltem. The first one you saw earlier on is, I think it's by Dave. It's literally stopped there, didn't move. One HJA908. And then the second one came back already and he did a park at a car park. And it literally is not even moving at all. I don't know what's the point. It's just when did the second bus come, the first bus should just run away. No point of staying there. What's the point of having two buses staying there and no buses over here at Bayswater? Are here at our Bayswater station going through? Again, slow speed. This speed is going to be for re uh, continued for at least uh, three to four months. Here's Bayswater Station. Definitely have more things built with the very stupid escalator in the middle of the platform. There's a stupid escalator right there. Literally, it's so narrow that you can even actually go on it. But this platform is six cars in length. Oh, that looks so much better, that base water station. And now we head down to the uh, tunnel. And here's the Morley Ellenbrook line construction site, which it will again branches off at Bayswater. So it will have like three branches since it hits Bayswater. One to Midland, one to airport, and one to up there to Ellenbrook. And the Ellenbrook line is gonna be very stupid because they will terminate at Perth for the Ellenbrook line. But the unfortunate is that they will clear off the passengers and they need to turn back Instead of actually directly driving into Platform 9, which is actually across the other side, which they can't do that. No. Platform 9 will be for Ellenbrook Line in the future. That's the designated platform for Ellenbrook Line into the tunnel already. But uh, the thing is, they will drive into Platform 6 to terminate, and then they were going to go to other spots to turn back. But the thing is, the turn back spot is a daglish. That's what everyone said. The turn back spot for the uh, airport, uh, for the Ellenbrook Line train will be at Daglish. But unfortunately is that they're just gonna go to Daglish without stopping at any of the stations. There are four stations, City West, West Leaderville, Subiaco, and Daglish. They won't stop any, any of those. They're just gonna clear the passengers at Perth and then they run non-stop, not in service to the Daglish turn back sidings and then turn back. And then run again, not in service back to Perth and then start Ellenbrook Line again, which is so dumb. Why not terminate at Daglish? I know it might ruin some of the timetables because you know Daglish is a, a very small hut station in the middle of the line and there are two extra li other lines will be running through Daglish so that's why it's going to cause some troubles but still why not just terminate at Daglish? Just quickly clear off the passengers and run into the sidings quickly you know? There's no point of not. This is set 104 which is again a terrible set for airport line Made to Redcliffe here. We are at Redcliffe. Sun is pretty nice over here with the sun coming down from the top. This is Redcliffe. A light here for bus services to Perth Airport Terminals 3 and 4. So, my parents will be coming over before the semester starts. Unfortunately, it's like the week before semester starts, unfortunately, because they, are, they can't come over any time earlier than that. And they will, they will, will take a Cafe Pacific direct flight, so that's why I will, I will not be picking them up, unfortunately, because they arrive late at night, so that's why I don't want to, like, since I pick them up and then they, like, freeze to death, and then since I get to the city, I can't take the last 960.
Next is Airport Central. Next station, Airport Central. A lighted Airport Central for Perth Airport's Terminals 1 and 2. And this is also the only way to get to Food Bank WA if you don't want to take the 294 down there. Or if you want to start the service at 294 at Food Bank WA instead of taking the loop, you need to go walk there from Airport Central. We're going backwards right now, but it's inside the tunnel, so it doesn't matter. And there we go, featuring both of the spur lines. And of course, we actually have checking tickets. Damn it. Okay. So let's check tickets. Hello. Well, sorry about the cut because we did get ticket checked. <laughs> yep, we did get checked by transit officers. They bought it at Redcliffe. Low. That's so lame. <laughs> I'm not gonna walk back here now. I don't know, but I don't know whether transit officer stops you from filming, but I literally stopped the recording, the last section in front of them. Unfortunately, we skipped the airport central station, but we got checked, so that's why. Oh my gosh, every single time. Airport line, seriously. Next station, next station, High Wycken, where this service terminates. Right, heading out. Last station, High Wycken for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Unfortunately, there are quite a lot of cuttings and skipping of stations because of staffs always going around and checking on people, including freaking transit officers. Sky is perfect today for filming. So, and of course, going back over to platform is it platform one or platform two? Platform one over here. As usual, I wonder whether they're gonna do something like Hong Kong here because in Hong Kong recently on 2022 last year when I go back to Hong Kong, they suddenly changed the terminating platform for the Tung Chung line. They changed Hong Kong and Tung Chung, the terminating platform for off-peak to the other side, which hasn't been there. And they didn't even do any changes. They haven't done any changes for, for the entire life, for my entire life. Yeah, Tung Chung line has been there. And then they haven't ever changed the side of the platforms.
<laughs> There's a food bank that BOA just actually technically behind there. And hi, we can. Made it. Thank you so much. Biscuit by the sea. Is it biscuit by the sea or biscuit in the sea? I think it's biscuit by the sea. Thank you so much for your request, and I will hope you're gonna give and I'm gonna nothing. And I thank you so much for this request, and I'll see you guys next time for the next vlog. Here we are at High Wiccan. Yes, it's biscuits in the sea. Unfortunate, not by the sea. Biscuit in the sea. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys next time. Remember to like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you can get notifications when I post. Check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram. Click on this video up top and I'll see you guys next time.